What's up you guys? Welcome back and welcome if you're new. In today's video I'm here with Danny and we're gonna actually be doing a walk around of the new Rex trailer from Syndicate Off-Road. So if you guys are interested make sure to stay tuned. If you guys do end up wanting to purchase one it's gonna be in the description box below. So let's go ahead and get into the video and show you what this bad boy comes with. First off, thank you Jesse for having us on the channel. So uh, I'm going to do a quick walk around of the Adventure Series Rex 1 uh, at Overland Trailer. So uh, we're going to start at the front of the trailer and then we're just going to kind of work our way all the way around it. And then if you guys have any questions, I'd be happy to answer them. So uh, starting at the front of the trailer, uh, you have a 360 uh, degree articulation hitch and a coupler, uh, spare tire mount, stabilizer jack as well. And then in the front of the trailer, this is like a storage box and this is where all the power is. So basically you have a breaker box here that controls all of the receptacles on the outside of the trailer and also the inside. And then you have a power inverter here as well. So that way, if you don't have a generator, it's pretty simple. All you have to do is take this, plug it into your power inverter and then this is a 12 volt plug that powers the entire trailer. So that way, if you wanna plug in your coffee pot, charge your phone, it's there for you. So another feature that we added with this trailer is it is solar equipped. So at the very front of the trailer, there's a solar plug here. All you have to do is plug it in, set it up somewhere in the sun, or if you want one that's permanently mounted to the trailer, we can do that for you. And the point of that is the solar panel is going to trickle charge the deep cycle marine battery right here so that way you have a constant source of power on and off the trail. So that's the whole point of having this trailer being solar equipped. Moving to the inside cabin, basically uh, we have a wood, limit, wood laminate flooring, carpeted walls, and then also aluminum ceilings with cabin lighting. So if you want to get a look on the inside, by all means. And keep in mind these cabin lights right here are tied in to the deep cycle marine battery so you always have a source of lighting on or off the trail. Uh, the sleeping quarters is six foot seven by five feet wide and then four feet tall. So very comfortable for, uh, for two full size adults or uh, two adults and a small child. So this trailer right here, uh, this side and the other side comes equipped with baggage doors just for additional storage. I keep my laundry in this one, I, like my dirty laundry. I keep my uh, other supplies in the other one and it also has overhead lighting. And one thing that I did forget to mention is right here in the corner is a switch panel. So this right here powers all of the outside lighting. So if you see in the corner right here, these are APS off-road working lights. So they're basically a 45 degree floodlight. So this actually has 6,000 lumens per piece and it's perfect to basically light up your entire campground when you're camping at night. Come to the back, you'll see that we have two additional stabilizer jacks so that way when you get to camp, you can keep the trailer on a level surface. And then this is basically the rear setup. So uh, I like this setup personally. I kind of made it for myself. So I have a barbecue setup and then my hose right here is wired up to the propane tank on the outside of the trailer. So every single compartment here has overhead lighting. So that way, if you can see, you can see what you're doing. It also has a receptacle here and then also another one right here if you need to plug in a coffee pot, if you wanna charge your phone, anything like that. And uh, basically a paper towel holder, spice rack, and then just additional storage. These storage compartments are perfect for a front runner um, wolf pack if you have them, or basically uh, we kind of threw this in here. This is just a regular tote you can find at a Walmart or a you know, Home Depot or something like that. It also comes with this remote and it's basically LED lighting all the way around the interior of the trailer so that way it just kind of adds a cool ambiance to the campsite. You can change colors, you can have it fade in and out. This comes included and then you just power it off, stick it right here and it goes away. So also 
comes equipped with APS off-road lighting in the rear of the trailer so that way when you're camping or anything like that it's there for you so um, this one actually has a front runner rack we have a kayak so we actually purchased a kayak mount for it and also a front runner awning so that is available as an upgrade for the public a fire extinguisher does come with every purchase of the trailer so that way if something happens whether it's with your rig with us with somebody else it's like we had a flip over recently so having something like that was perfect for us so we just wanted to make it a standard uh, for safety purposes so coming around to this side as you can see i have my propane mount right here it's kind of tucked out of the way so i can turn it on and off to power my barbecue this one has oh this lock but it's a basically the same exact dimensions for a storage compartment on the other side and then we wanted to add two doors obviously for uh, functionality and being comfortable with if you have a partner finally in the front we have a cargo slide out so if you have a fridge great you can actually hardwire it straight to the deep uh, deep cycle battery and the solar panel will basically trickle charge that battery so you have a constant source of power for your say Dometic fridge or if you just want to put your cooler in there strap it down take it on an adventure it slides in and it goes away so that is basically, you know, the full walk around of the trailer. I know some people asked us about pricing. So the base model price starts off at 14,000, but right now we actually have special pricing going on for uh, all of your followers and, you know, a couple of our partners and stuff like that. So if you want, if you have any questions, there's going to be a link down below overlandtrailers.usa.com slash contacts. Go ahead and send us a message. Tell us that Jesse sent you, and then we'll kind of share that special pricing with you guys. Any questions overall about the trailer? Yeah. Let's get into that. Now this part of the video, we're gonna go ahead and ask Danny some questions. Uh, me and Chris, we're gonna ask him as if you guys were asking. So you had a really good question. You wanna go ahead and ask it? With this trailer loaded out the way it is, can we drop the tailgate or open the, the back of a 4Runner or any other SUV that's towing it? Absolutely, absolutely. So um, with this type of setup, it has a very low profile to it. And we wanted to basically put the jack out of the way so that way it doesn't interfere with this area right here. So. This comes down pretty easily. Uh, on my 4Runner, I can lift the rear end very easily. So um, basically, if you have a Jeep, it can be very easily modified. Basically, we just take this and then we vertically mount the tire. One question I did have is, um, that's not a regular tow hitch receiver. So you wanna kind of explain what you guys did with that? Yeah. Or where they can get that, or I don't well, know if you guys included. This actually comes standard. Okay. Yeah, this comes All standard. Right. So like uh, with the base model pricing of the trailer, this comes included with the coupler and also the receiver. So okay. that way, you know, there's no issues. As long as you have, um, you know, a tow capable rig, it's definitely there for you. So okay. it has a, it comes standard with a seven pin plug and the hitch receiver, hitch receiver pin, all that good stuff. And what exactly does it do? Like, what, what does it do? So, uh, why is it different? Basically, from a standard ball and hitch coupler, you have a lot less, uh, you have no flex really. Cause when okay. we were doing testing in the beginning, yeah. we had a standard ball and hitch coupler and that's probably why we flipped the trailer. Yeah. On purpose, <laughs> yeah. for safety purposes, we, we did it, you know, but, but this one right here locks in with the cotter pin and this one has a rotation this way and then this right here that gets locked in actually has the sway this way. So it gives you that full 360 degree articulation. So whether you're going through the rocks or you're, you know, going over, you know, that crazy section that you did, yeah. the trailer will actually <laughs> articulate with your vehicle. Now you were saying that they, these are pretty, uh, like you, they can build it themselves. So do they have to purchase the product through you guys or they can get it themselves and install it themselves? Or how would that work as if they wanted a fridge? Cause I know you were saying you could put a Dometic fridge yeah so um we we offer all those options to the consumer but okay. i mean you know if they want to purchase the base space bottle package that's absolutely fine yeah and then they can upgrade it as they go so if they wanted to put a roof rack on it this and that the only thing that we usually try and do is all the electrical components yeah. so as far as like the lighting the cabinet the, the cabin lighting the stuff in the rear all that's wired into our system because we want to make sure that everything is working properly right Reliable. out of our facility yeah, yeah exactly so but as far as cosmetic stuff the consumer can definitely do that okay pretty easy to open right yes. oh and it has a lock so that's pretty cool if you can see it here what's well it has two locks what's the two for uh just for safety uh, yeah on the inside right here this kind of has like a deadbolt feature oh, okay. right here so that way if you're inside yeah you can deadbolt yourself in so you can kind of protect yourself from the elements or you know intruders if, if it you know hopefully if that didn't happen yeah <laughs> whoever purchases it comes standard with an eight inch memory foam mattress 
Oh, so, so it's memory foam. Yes, nice. yeah. Okay. So that comes standard. It's a part of the base model package. Uh, right now, this one has a 3,500 pound straight axle uh, sitting on leaf springs. So right now, that's the base model. But as far as independent suspension, that's absolutely an upgrade that we offer for the public. So um, like a Timberman uh, independent axle to suspension, mm -hmm. we can definitely modify the trailer to accommodate that. So that way you have more uh, upward articulation this way. Yeah. And on the road, um, depending on how uh, like the PSI on your tires, yeah. instead of having a lot of bounciness going on with the trailer. It'll be a lot more smooth. Exactly, yes. And yes. Um, I don't know if you mentioned it in the beginning, but you were mentioning that it has brakes as well? Yes, yeah, so it so, comes with uh, uh, electric brakes, uh, okay. drums all wired into the system. So um, it depends on the vehicle though. So if, you're, if your seven pin connector is wired up to accept the brakes, yes, the, the, the whole point is when you're going down a hill, the trailer's gonna be braking before you Exactly. Before you do, yeah. So okay. that way it, it, it doesn't, doesn't take a hit lot that. Of, exactly, yeah. Another standard that these come with is for the base model package. They come with Nexen uh, Rodian MTX mud terrain tires. It is equipped with uh, DOT lighting, so that way we're DOT uh, the DOT regulations within the state of California. So okay. uh, we do all of the work in house. It's 100% made in the USA. Uh, we have two facilities in San Bernardino. One is for our welding, our fabrication, our, um, you know, basically 80, 90% of the work we do in-house is through okay. there. And then we bring it over to our other facility that you've been to and we do all of the finish work, all the accessorizing, stuff like that for the consumer. As far as like the propane tank with the power tank mounts, mm -hmm. can you, from, from you guys, order a power tank and mount it on the opposite side? For the trailer yeah yeah so um so what we did and, and like i said we wanted to really ac accommodate the consumer so yeah. the the trailer right now has an aluminum finish all the way around uh, just because it's lightweight there's composite as well as insulation and then composite on the inside of the trailer and one thing i did want to ask so i saw there is a roof rack up here yes um someone's probably going to ask how do they get up there? Putting this trailer together before Expo, we were very, very rushed, but um, what we plan to do as a standard is we're just gonna be fabricating steps right here. Okay. On, on each side of the fenders, so that way, whichever side you're comfortable with, you can step on it and then access to the trailer. Would the fenders be strong enough to support the weight? Yeah, the fenders are reinforced steel <laughs> fenders, so yes, you can stand oh, wow. on it. Yeah, Damn. they're rated for probably at least three to 400 pounds, so yeah. Definitely sturdy enough to stand on. Oh, wow. Yeah. Hell yeah. So if you guys are interested and you guys are maybe running a Jeep with 35s or 37s on it, maybe getting the option with 35s on the trailer might be a good option for you guys yeah. if you're interested. And, and, and keep in mind too, everything is customizable from the ground up at our facility. So if you want to run 37s on the trailer, I wouldn't recommend it because you <laughs> probably have to. We probably have to fabricate some steps for yeah. you, you know, That'd something be like that. High. <laughs> but it, it's cool because we 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 control all aspects of our manufacturing, so we can really just give the customer exactly what they want. One one thing I did want to mention, I, I was actually uh, at Stater Brothers, uh, you know, getting some supplies because of the crazy times and all that. Yeah. And I had a gentleman in a Jeep pull up, and he was really interested in the trailer. And we actually did this kind of, I don't know if you can see it in the camera, but this black topography. Exactly. And he's like, oh wow, that's really cool. And I was like, oh hey, we own a vinyl, vinyl wrap shop. So yeah. if you say, for example, like want a wrap on your Jeep to match your trailer, we can absolutely accommodate that for you. Oh damn. So yeah. What are you guys' lead times on the trailers? Uh, so um, when the deposit is made, production time starts. So typically depending, it all depends on the actual um, accessories. So because we're working with other manufacturers, mm -hmm. so we're kind of at their mercy. But as far as like getting the trailer built and almost completed, a week and a half to two weeks. Holy yeah. Quick, huh? Yes. I was surprised Most too. Most <laughs> bumpers take almost two months. Yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. And this is a whole full on trailer right, built. Right. Right. I saw inside you have like some storage up there. Yes. Uh, what, what was your guys' idea on that? Uh, well, um, we kind of just wanted to keep it open and simple. Obviously, if you can tell, that's a perfect spot for a TV mount. If you want to put a TV in there, you know, yeah. if you got little ones, you know, when you're out there on the trail, they can kind of hang out in here. So. Uh, but it, it, like I said, it, it's custom, you know, so yeah. if you want more additional shelves, we can actually, you know, we can accommodate that. You should stop it there and hopefully if they've watched until this part of the video, yeah. maybe they could drop some comments on questions if they have. Yeah, some. yeah, absolutely. And I'll of course direct them to you and, 
answer their question. Yeah, yeah. So there like I said, um, if you guys have any questions or uh, are interested in special pricing, uh, you know, hit the link down below, overlandtrailersusa.com forward slash contacts, and uh, I'd be lo I'd love to answer any questions you may have. So yeah, yeah. So if you guys like this video, please make sure to like, comment, and subscribe. See you guys next time. Peace. See ya. Do it. And then intro rolls. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Stop, stop, stop. Never mind. Don't go forward. Stop. <laughs> I thought you were doing the intro. <laughs> I was. I want you to do it. Oh, I did. This is my good side. That's my good side. You're looking pretty cute there. Do I need to do the hair flip? Please. Because I'll pull it out. I think you should. I think you should. I need women for models. Girls can get this many likes. How many can Danny get? <laughs>